All right, Snapdragon. Got ourselves a one v rank, one v one ranked game here. We've got General Milka um, on the Bravo side. I believe he's playing a Euro motor. I've got Supernova on the left hand side in Echo, and he's got a mechanized Eastern Block deck. And we're on Mudfight. Let's just speed it up. This is my first sort of game since I got a new mouse. So hopefully there's no none of that fucking you know how my old mouse just would fucking go straight into there and then be all the way out there. So hopefully we get none of that. Anyway, so General Milk Milka come pretty light on the uh, on the left flank here, Gazelle Cannon. Uh, CV, he's got another CV in there. No, it looks like he's only got the single CV. Unless it's up the front. Um, all looks pretty light. He might have gone a plane. And I'm sure his objective is that town. As will be uh, Supernovas here. Looks like he's gone very hard up the middle. Plenty of Mims. 72, Sopal. Um, did I see... Yeah, and he's got, it looks like he's going to give up this town and just put defences in Alpha and he's probably going to try and cut off uh, Foxtrot here and maybe try and get into Charlie. Anyway, let's have a look. CV, looks like they've only they've both only gone single CVs. Oh no, there's a second one. Okay. And Milk has gone a fob as well. Guess that'll cannon push. Okay, yeah. He's probably spotted a few things, but he would have spotted that MI for sure, probably this 24 as well. Um, I'm not sure if he would have spotted that stuff. Uh, the VAB trying to do some work. The FJB is going to get that Gazelle Cannon. And Milk has got into that town pretty easily. Um, and now the only ice he's got is this AMX, which might actually get taken out by the MI-24. Um, he's got plenty of stuff just hanging around. But here come the motos, going, they'll probably be going straight for this forest here, to be honest. FJB go down, plenty of tanks coming up. 105 coming across, it might get some side shots on these uh, BMPs, but it's not going to be able to do enough. Um, and there's, there's heaps of stuff here that's been forgotten about to concentrate on this stuff. Uh, what can Milka see? He's got this tow two out, but... I mean, his, his weapon's jammed on his AMX there. 105 is going to be able to do some damage, but not really enough. Milka really should be taking over Alpha. Really consolidating his position on this side while he tries to get defences over here. He is at plus one tick, which is nice. But, I mean, look at all this stuff here. That's just... Like these Milans could be getting some sort of side shots or... Back over here is defense. As they go, now they go. A couple of BVPs coming across with their ATGMs. Um, he's got he, Milka here's got good eyes on on this whole sector, so he should be able to realize that and push a bit harder while he while he does get some defenses in. Um, and that lapse might um, might actually cost him. By not by not taking enough ground in Alpha and Delta, like later on in, in the match. Now that Supernovas come all the way into Charlie. Um, in saying that, there's quite a few tanks here now pushing across. Plenty of fire support. Motchinson's going to take this forest. Um, and uh, I guess if you cut off the road here at Delta, then it's really hard to reinforce Alpha. No air has come out yet, from what I've seen. Um, 1A5 coming in, but it's really not going to be able to put up much fight against these uh, three MIMS here, plus a 72. Oh, the 72 actually goes down to a Milan there. Um, it's really good to have recon next to your ATGM squads, um, just because the medium optics compared to the very good optics usually lose sight of stuff. And now we've got a counter push here. See how the yeah, it's it's hard. It's it's easy for me to say now they should have reinforced this, but 
But how does how does Milk know that this is coming up? See we're coming in now. He's evened up the tick over here, supernova, and he's gonna actually go ahead plus one in a second. Uh, supernova could deal deal with um, some recon, maybe move this whatever the fuck that says, I don't even know. Up to a tree line a bit further on. on. Plenty of ATGMs with these BVPs. I think these are just transports for these passive Passeron Nissi. Sorry, I'm, I don't speak. Polish, Polish, check. More reinforcements, plenty of fire support. Couple of Fulcrum Jaegers. Still could use this uh, Fuxia as a bit of fire support, that would be nice. And Super Nova gets some defenses out. Super could actually just push this all the way to the tree line and be able to tell what's coming in and play accordingly. Uh, 180 points, just sitting there doing a whole lot of nothing. Plus more. It's actually 360 points. Minus the MI2, which is what, 40 points, there you go. 400 points sitting in a tree line, not doing much. Mirage, I think that's Napalm. No, that's just HE. I think his, his uh, commandos have spotted the CV. Um, it's one tactic, Mirage gets out. It could be uh, just a knee-jerk sort of thing. Foxymiag is going to get this forest back. He's put out a tiger. Yeah, he's going to lose this as well. It's, I mean, that's a good push with all that stuff, but now that he's got it, um, it's a lot of expensive stuff just sitting there. Bringing in some fire support, plenty of BMP2s, BMP1s, excuse me, with some watchets and. ATGMs need rearming. Yeah, he's just defending the shit out of his CVs right now, which is always uh, advised. Super attender, attender. Yep, goes for the sople. It's not a bad move. Um, you know that's that's unlucky. Uh, so if he cleared out the the air there, he could bring up bring up the tiger hat and and do some work. But unfortunately, attender goes down. CV coming in. Uh, Supernova could deal with some uh, recon over this side. I mean, he's got some there, he's got some there. But um, he's not. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, and obviously, he's going to know that stuff's in that forest. Jaeger's doing work, but there's good fire support. Um, it's going to be cleared out pretty quickly. Nice move with the uh, recon there just to make sure nothing's coming around the side. Another super attendard coming out. They're not bad, 90 points, 70% accuracy with 30 AP. It's a shame you get one missile. I think the availability is 2 on vet and maybe 3 on trained that could be wrong um, but it gets out there it's got no, there's no air defense here the only really air defense he's got going on is this sopal and the fjb it's a strange choice because the meta at the moment seems to be lstrs rather than fjb um, i'm unaware of the differences off the top of my head uh, it could be a better launch, uh, rpg uh, I could be wrong. I'm not too sure. Off the top of my head, anyway. So that attender getting out um, has opened up the. He's, he's obviously noticed that there's not not a whole lot of A A A here, so he's brought along the, the tiger, which is a good move. Um, Auction, I guess. 
So he's already used four of of what seven I think you get of special forces. Um, he's just got to be careful of these ATGMs here, and I mean he could be taking care of them if he. There you go. Um, plenty of recon. What what can uh, General Milker see? So he can see that Mim with these paras, and he probably should patch up those uh, Fox Jaggers there as well. A uh, bit of a miss marker here. Always send your infantry first. Get that. Uh, get that uh, LMG firing, and then you bring in your uh, your fire support transports because they can't be firing both their MG or LMG. In this case, for the Muchets and the RPK and the RPG-7 at the same time. That way, you tie them up using the RPK, um, and your fire support can uh, just lay into them without uh, being shut up with the RPG. Good tank placement, out of range of the BVPs, but can obviously get line of sight down this road on either side of this uh, town here. That's that's a good kill. That's a really good kill because otherwise, um, it's going to be some trouble for the uh, Fox Maligas there. Super Etendard coming in. I'm not sure what um, what the goal is. Probably the 72, but it's probably going to be. Lose line of sight, yep. Yep. Get shot at by the FJB. Now that could have just been an air tester sort of thing. Uh, be a good idea to turn those weapons off that CV. And make sure everything is being rearmed there. Bomber coming in. What uh, what can Melka see? So it's got some pretty decent eyes with this gazelle cannon as well as the paras. Um, and it looks like that's what he's going for. That should be a pretty decent kill. Sopal gets a shot on, but no deaths. And luckily, some watchers can survive. Uh, this could be a dangerous move now with the tiger, uh, because he he did he knows he got shot at by something. FJB are actually out of ammo, which is lucky. Um, you, that's probably your priority with the Tiger. Oh, what's the Sopal's range? Oh, it's only 26, I thought it was 28. Okay. Still not a whole lot happening up the top there. Supernova's still at a plus one, but uh, Milka has a bit of a lead, so that's okay. Cluster's coming in. Um, it's probably going for this 72, possibly down here for the Sopal, but yeah, I'd say most likely for this 72. No, okay, looking like it's going to Sopal. Maybe just trying to clear out, clear out the uh, air support there. Good kill on the Sopal. That Tiger is probably a good time to bring it in. <laughs> Nag is going to chew up this Panzer... Panzerovnissi. Panzerovnissi. Could be completely wrong, but whatever. Tiger coming in. No, super and uh, trying to get a kill on something that reveals itself. Probably go with this 72. Yep, side shot, bang, see you later. Tiger head. It's got plenty on there. There you go. 24 plus the BVP, I think. Oh, Wilk comes in. I've got some stingers to unload. Uh, what would my priorities right now be? Um, if I was Milka, it would be just reinforce Alpha. Um, if I was Supernova, it would be Maybe I'll try and push in Delta. Uh, good move with the CV. Ah, sorry, if I was Supernova, I'd get some air, like AA, some long range AA or a um, an, AS an ASF. Uh, because I've got enough enough units here, I just need to give them give them some protection. 
Sopal, I wouldn't go a Sopal, I'd go something like a uh, an Osa. Maybe even a double Osa. Save up. Sopal is not going to do enough against um, long range AA. Uh, long range air strikes. Double Roland. Kills an air minus 24. It's probably going to get a kill on the second one. Not quite. Watch it and just uh, smashing these lesions here. Not lesions. It's going to be a tricky place to stop this CV. Um, because Supernova's done a really good job at getting this uh, recon in there. And I might actually spot it. He can, he's going to see the VAB, but he's not going to be able to see the um, CV. But he knows if it's if it stops there. Yeah. Hey, that might be Miss Marco. It could be deliberate to make it not seem like a CV. Um, I'm going to go with Miss Marco, but you never know. <laughs> Plenty of these Leos uh, has far support trying to chop this uh, road down, and the actual the wilt got destroyed. It must have been that Etendard um, come in because I don't think anything here is really strong enough to be killing it. Roland, kill this 24 beauty. All right, Jaegers and stuff are going to be pushed out here unless the the leopards can uh, get kills on them. Uh, Supernova can't see that, no. But he can see that VAB, so... Uh, that might... He might know that. As we've got push coming in here, which is a good move. Um, try and get the attention away from Milka on this side. Um, and actually come in here. It's a good move. Um, these Mims look like they're on attack move. They use up all their AT gems, basically. And uh, that Leo was really the only thing that was stopping it. So, Paul, not much air support, which is, which could be a downfall. Uh, looks like Super's probably going to spot that CV now. Yep. Uh, don't know if those are going to help against the 270 point. There you go, marked 270 points worth of tanks. And I mean, like. Yeah, I, I, look, to be honest, I would probably want to push there with, with five and one box Jaegers. That's not enough. Um, and I'd probably ex be expecting units in there anyway. I'd move this, you know, this recon up a bit further. Um, and it looks like, yep, that, uh, that recon got killed. Three Leopard 105s, I think. I think the 105 is probably the best tank you're going to get with a motorized deck anyway so he's, he's I mean he's trying he's trying to do some work MiG-21 which is the bomber the HE bomber gets shot down but it gets bombs off uh, I reckon that's probably gonna kill it yep yeah I should probably should be, should be looking at disabling those ATGMs, not that there's many left. Um, and this is a dangerous move. Good bummer. That's, I mean, look at this. This is just fucking jacked up to this shit right now. It's stupid. Um, full health. Four top armor. I'm not sure if that's going to kill. No. Only, only half health, really. Actually got two CVs coming out. Interesting. Uh, good kill on the. Uh, he actually did go for that CV kill there. ASUs. More bombs. Might get a stun. Yeah, there's a stun. And the Grom actually gets the kill. Fucking hell. One of the 185s goes down. 
one of the mims, yep, down. And this one's badly injured, or damaged, whatever. Needs to unload. Needs and then he needs to get rid of this this um, uh, recon. Counter push is coming in, and it's not really counter push, but you know what I mean. And that's that CV there's probably spotted. If he unloads, um, yeah, see, well there you go. So he's just going to mark that again. That's a really important forest, this one. Really important. TGM's going to get a kill on the BVP. Attendard coming out. Um, I'd probably go for the. I'd probably go for the uh, one with more help, health. And then uh, chomp on the other one. Because as you can see, it survived. If that went the other way around, the Etendard went that one, it would be dead. And the lower health, lower health one would, would uh, die to that cluster. Another mark, but it's inaccurate. Um, Milk is at a plus two tick right now, which is not bad. But he's got plenty of stuff that needs to be re like re repaired and rearmed. Um, and the push on this side's really just been squashed. Nothing else is going to happen from it. That's so cool. Is that is that seen? No. But it's going to get that 72 here. Critical incendiary. And there it goes down. He might only have one, one left. Um, now I did hear some mortars, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, that's the ASUs. Uh, yeah, this is this is going to be a pretty decent push if that wilt comes out. Uh, Celtic, I'm not sure why that was bought. Maybe just because he's excuse me. He saw that 24 days. I wanted some defences for him, but I think that's a waste of 70 70 points right now. Um. This Wilk actually might be the best type of um, most expensive tank you can get as a as a mech deck. Oh, that's probably why there's no LSTRs. Uh, LSTRs are pretty sure aren't available in mech. I'm pretty sure. I could have just made that up, <laughs> like everything else. But um, that um, that sounds pretty accurate to me. Moving the CV out, could move. Oh, actually, probably could keep it. I oh, just move it. We might have had line of sight there. All this fire support, everything. Uh, yeah, you can see it all. Um, and it's probably f doing fire position on the other buildings. These are probably more motos. Still six. Let's uh, speed it up. Getting a couple of kills. Mig comes in, going bombs on that uh, CV. Yep. So it looks like uh, Supernova here's finally taken the town, and he's going to take this zone, this entire zone. Um, and now it's, and he's taken all of Delta as well. So um, this this early map control, I think, really helped. Um, supernova in terms of being able to push across and cut off advances and him pushing out alpha here is, is I think it's yeah I mean there's still 15 minutes to go but um, to be honest it uh, doesn't look too good for general right now Milka um, I'd probably split them and then maybe put a Wilk in this tree line or oh, maybe the 72 and kept the walk, walk a bit further back. Um, they probably do need reinforcements, which is coming in. 
Maybe these could go across. Uh, yeah, I'd try and get a, a if I was milk, I'd try and get a recon in there. This is pretty dangerous, but at least he's got um, the Fuchs running with it. More Fox Yagis. He might have two cards. He must. Unless it's known. Uh, non availability. But I'm sure. Uh, I'm short sure seven. In elite, as elite. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hey. I'm just getting tired. Uh, the Fox from Jaegers should wrap this up pretty quickly. Although, their PZF3s. Uh, that one's not tied up, so that should get a kill on that 72. That MG3 just walked through those motor shits and um, pretty decent bombs, but he just walked his FJB into them. That's more, looks like more. AMX 30s, not bad. It's got, uh, got a um, auto cannon. Yeah, we're just going for bombing runs now. Cassio Beckett's taken out by the 24D. What? FLA finally comes in. Uh, it's essentially the Easter block Tunguska. Uh, it might have a little bit less range. Uh, I believe those stats are identical. Might have a longer gun on helicopter. I'm not too sure, but they look almost identical. Mirage ASF out now, going for a bomb uh, from for this bomber. A turbine failure uh, gets shot down. There it is, and actually lands on the Mochitson, uh, which you can see right there. <laughs> That's unlucky. Uh, we've got General, General's uh, even up the tick here, so Supernova knows it's in the zone. More Fox Jaegers, he must have two two cards. Um, it, it's, a, it's a motor deck, so that, that doesn't surprise me a whole lot. A lot of 24 Ds. This is dangerous. And have we got this? Yeah, so CV's moved into the back, putting. Uh, it just got killed there. So Supernova's still at a plus one tick with eight minutes to go. Not much is going to happen there, but looks like an ASU push is going to come in. More motos, ASUs galore. I don't know what the availability of these ASUs are, but they're 10 points. Um, and they're good to just, like, I think there's like 12 coming in now. Four stack, four stack, and another four stack. Plus some dushkas. Um, and they're good to just throw throw out Inez mate shields. Here comes the moto push. More motos. That CV is going to get spotted. And if he's going to micro that a bit better. He's just he's just tagged it. Cassiope is coming in, but uh, the Sopal should clean them up. Oh, and the FLA as well. Um, and these would just be mostly on fast move, to be honest. Yep, kills its only real danger there. Yep, just walks through the fucking Jaegers. Might should soon be able to get into this town now. FLA probably move up to the next tree line. Good job. It's completely taken alpha. Um, but I think it's CB actually got sniped. Maybe by one of the Cassiopeys before it got shut down or something. 
Um, looks like most of these defences have been pushed out. A four stack of Amex 30s. Okay, maybe if you kill that uh, Mim, you might be able to push in there. <clears throat> Look, there's, a, there's only one ASU left out of all, all 12 of them. But uh, look, look how much ground it's gained. These Amexes can't hit fuck all. Twenty-four is coming off this. Uh... No, we're just going for CV snipes again, are we? Righto. That's a shame. Guys, 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 guys. So easy to fall into it. I know. I've done it. But. Fuck me, mate. Doing it again. It's a shame. But yeah, like I said, everybody does it. I've done it. Not proud of it, but everybody's going to do it, and everybody's always going to do it. Especially when there's this time left, and you really got to make up points somehow. I get it. It's all good. Doesn't make it fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's just going for it. Um, thinks it's in there. Just guessing. A minute to go. Looks like Supernova's going to wrap this up. Um, and I'm going to put the wind down to his early push into Foxtrot. Usually, I mean, this, this zone is always a, a red zone. Um, but he made Milka put some in, invest into Charlie a lot more than what he what people usually do. Um, and the fight for this, this uh, forest was uh, was quite expensive for, for Milka. And there you have it, there's the game. So even though Milka got uh, just a little bit more kills, I wouldn't call it a major defeat. Uh, what was the score? Yeah, okay, maybe it was, yeah. Yeah, that looks like it's game. So GG to Supernova. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Cheers.